What is CVM or the Contingent Valuation Method? CVM is using to assess individuals' reaction on changes in environmental quality. It analyzes how much people are willing to pay in a scenario. For a clear understanding, we're gonna give you an example. Once upon a time, in a remote area. In the middle of a forest, beaver, bear, and many other animals are living happily together. One day, beaver wants to construct a dam for mutual benefits of all the animals. In the meantime, beaver thinks that the benefits are more than the losses. But first, let me explain that I'm taking fish as a unit of money. When bear has more fishes, it means that he has more income. Beaver thinks that the dam construction can help animals to raise their fish, and it will benefit to all animals in this forest. On the other side, from bear's opinion, he thinks that dam construction will lead a few animals who live in downstream to get less water and. Less fish to consume. From this situation, CVM is needed to solve the problem. There are five steps of CVM. Let me introduce the first one. Step one: valuation problem. Hey, we have to weigh the benefit between having a dam and not have it. Upstream animals are happy, but a bear at downstream are unhappy. Step two, choose survey. There are several methods to conduct a survey. First, by email. However, there is no feedback or qualification possible from this method. Second, by telephone. This method has to be simple and short, and cannot contain graphical material for further understand. Third, in person. This method is quite expensive, and there is interviewer bias. We choose in-person method to solve the problem. Step three: actual survey design. It need to be carefully designed. People will gain and loses differently. If the policy benefits people, choose willingness to pay. If the policy makes loses. Choose willingness to accept. The WTP, however, is limited to an individual income. The WTA, on the other hand, is unbounded. We have to choose what payment vehicle to use. Coercive payment vehicles include tax, fees, charge. As people refuse the idea to pay higher tax, although it is. Welfare enhancing voluntary payment include donation and gifts. On the other hand, might encourage free riding and overestimate the WTP. Step four: elicitation. There are four methods to collect the survey. First, bidding game. For example, ask them for fifteen baht, and if they say yes, ask them for more, such as twenty baht. And if they say no, ask them for less, such as for ten baht. Second, direct question. Ask them how much are they willing to pay. Third, payment card. Make a list of number for them to choose. Fourth, referendum choice, also known as single bounded dichotomous choice. Ask them if they are willing to pay twenty baht, for example. In this example, we choose the payment card method. Step five, calculation. Pros and cons of the CVM. The pros are first, it can deal with both used and non-used values. Second, by answering WTP and WTA questions, it directly goes to correct monetary measures of utility changes. Cons are. Hypothetical people are unfamiliar 
with the situation. All sorts of bias may occur, and interview design is always hard. Bias protection. There are five types of bias. First, embedding is the problem about the value estimate for an element of good is the same as the value. Estimated for the whole group, we can solve this problem by using the scale test to show sensitivity to the size of the group, or framing statement to point out income constraint. Second, hypothetical bias. Because they are hypothetical, respondents do not take it seriously. You can solve this problem by use a sheep talk script, such as as if it were real. Strategic bias. Is to understand the WTP when the respondents suspect that the payment will be required, or overstate the WTP when they suspect that payment will not be incurred. The way to solve this problem is to use the provision rule, such as the payment will be occur if more than half of the respondents agree to pay. Fourth, payment vehicle bias. It means that the payment vehicle influence the estimate. You can solve this problem using the pretest for a neutral payment vehicle. The last one is the starting point or uncalling by ad. It is a problem that the first offer of the dichotomous choice or the bidding game method influence the estimate. Mm-hmm.